Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to do something just a little bit different, not train related, but it starts in the train room and I'm going to show you what we got going on. And I've been hinting towards it for a little while. Okay, first things first, you can see that I have my chair moved back over. And you can see that my floor is cluttered up with stuff, but it's not cluttered up with RV stuff. And by now, you probably figured out why. Let's go take a look. Okay, we're kind of cramped for space back here, but this is the rear of the unit. Um, it's a little unusual in that it has the power outlet on the very back. Uh, nothing new here. It's pre-wired for a backup camera. I already have the backup camera. The weather's just been too crappy to put it on there. So I'll work on that whenever the weather's decent again. But uh, anyway, let's look around. Okay, so this is our new acquisition. It's a, it's a 22 um, Grand Design Imagine XLS series, which is extra light series. Um, it's half ton towable. Uh, you can see that it has about a two foot slide out. And of course a pass through in the front just like they all have. Um, this particular model is called the 23 LDE. Don't ask me how they came up with that because it's 28 and a half feet long from tongue to tail. <clears throat> Let me get down here. It still fits on the side of the house. Can still be towed with the Toyota. My Toyota. This one easily. Uh, it has a full length awning, two doors. We like two doors simply because the door closest here that's closed, um, we usually open that and put the step out and then we have a dog pen that we put there. And what we do is we put our rug on the other side and we sit over there and then they can come in and out that door into their dog pen and we don't have to step over the dog pen all the time. So that's why we prefer two doors. Uh, more of the pass-through stuff. As you can see, it has a double fold step on each end. Three steps, they fold up into that. Uh, of course, the furnace. An outside TV connection here. Fresh water uh, there if you want to, when you fill city water. Uh, they have the uh, why don't resistance doors on them that'll hold any position you open them to or you can hook them back over there um, this is a connection for an outside shower head little shower head in case you need to wipe off the dog or rinse off the dog or rinse off your shoes or whatever um, I think we re we already looked at the back uh, manual jacks which is okay because I have a uh, I have a oh a cobalt three-quarter inch drive or I'm sorry half inch drive that uh, I just carry with me in here to lower and raise that stuff if I need it um, let's go inside and take a look at it okay it's a rear kitchen model and we bought it for this purpose as well it has a ton of counter space and it has a ton of storage um, pantry over there next to the refrigerator. Refrigerator's on the slide. Let me get in and I'll show you more. As you come in there's two large drawers here and a place for shoes or whatever you want under there. Um, as you can see cabinets all the way across and they're pretty decent uh, depth. You can keep a lot of dishes, food, whatever you want. Microwave, uh, the outside vent fan, three burner stove and a small oven which will never see use when we go camping. It came with this little grate over the top that you can drain dishes on. You can roll half of it back, do dishes and then drain your stuff on the other side. Uh, power outlets there, uh, USB there for charging and a power outlet up there. Um, this is the control panel area. You can see that it senses you when you walk up to it. It is also 
um, can be tied into with a phone so that you can operate the slide and the, all that stuff with the phone. I likely will not do that simply because I don't want to have all that on my phone. Uh, these are the remotes for the radio and the TV. A little bit more storage. Um, plenty of drawers. Three deep drawers here that come all the way out. A nice cabinet that you could put a trash can in. And I tell you what, there's not very many RVs out there that have a place to put a trash can. Have a small spice rack. Two more big deep drawers. Another cabinet here with a removable shelf if you wanted to put something really tall in there. This is access to the water heater, which is on that side. And as I showed you before, a pantry, deep pantry. And three deep drawers. And when we got the fridge, it opened from the other side, but we wanted it to open from this side, which is from the kitchen side, which seemed to me to make sense. It's a residential size small residential size refrigerator works strictly on 12 volts um, so it has a solar panel on it the solar panel can operate the refrigerator 12 volt from the battery 12 volt from your truck uh, or the or from a generator uh, theater seating um, the handle here there's a handle right here you pull that and it lets the theater seating out and then the theater seating also pushes way back to the point you could almost sleep on there. It also has heat, light, and massage. And we'll put it back in. It also has a fold-on armrest, which is handy for some people. But we likely won't use it very much because usually the dogs uh, sit up here with us. We have a cover that we can put over this for the dogs. Um, a nice light over that seating. Thermostat. Uh, that thermostat is basically set it and leave it. It's for air conditioning and heat. A uh, nice big TV with Dick Van Dyke on it. Um, a place to store... DVDs, all your, you know, your miscellaneous parts, your spare parts, which I think could go in a drawer over there, one of these drawers down here. Your Furion radio. Uh, I have a DVD player that I can actually run the cord out and plug into the HDMI so we can play DVDs. Um, you have an outlet up there in case you want to put your coffee maker and your my teapot for for instance on this table this table is broken they've already got a new pedestal for on order for us under here uh, it's supposed to uh, hydraulically lift up and then lock in place but the locking mechanism is messed up and it doesn't tighten up and the table wobbles like hell but anyway the company that makes the pedestals makes the originally made those for boats and uh, they're sending a new one Underneath this cushion is the water pump. Underneath this cushion is the furnace. Um, there's a little tiny bit of room behind the uh, theater seating. Now we're going to move into the bathroom. You've got some space for stuff in the bathroom. You have nice medicine cabinet and me taking video. A uh, nice sink and a really big area underneath the sink. Uh, the toilet sits here on an angle, which seems to be weird, seemed to me, be weird to me at first, but we have a door here if you want to close that. Um, it does keep you from seeing the toilet um, when you're looking through. Nice big shower with a poly door. I don't know what they actually call these. But it's a uh, plastic type material. It's, I don't know what it's warranted for, but a long time. And then when you open these, open this back up, as it goes in, 
it has a little squeegee back here that squeegees the water back into the uh, to the shower. That's handy. A porcelain toilet, plastic lid, but it is a soft closed lid, and that's handy because then you don't slam it when you get up at night and go to the bathroom. Well, when I get up at night and go to the bathroom, there's three fans. One here, uh, no, I'm sorry, vents. There's no fan in that vent. There is a fan in the vent up over the kitchen over there. You can see that all the ceiling lights, everything's LED, and everything is recessed into the ceiling. Uh, the, there's two doors here, that one and this one, and they just have a bungee that holds them closed and a magnet that holds them closed when they're shut. Here's the other door. There's about a foot and a half or more of space here. This is an actual full-size queen bed, not an RV queen, but a full-size queen bed. Over here you have two large drawers and you have your hanging clothes as, as usual. But there's one of these on each side and they're very deep. The drawers here are only that deep only because each side has one of those little cubbies right there that has a USB on it and has uh, uh, two 110 sockets there. That's good for Robin so she can plug in her hearing aids at night or if someone had a CPAP machine or whatever you could plug it in there. And it's identical on each side. Then there's upper storage like they all have with nice hinges by the way, European hinges. Nice deep and it goes all, the door goes all the way to the end here. The other trailer we had had doors in the middle but when stuff slid down here you had to get up on the bed to be able to reach it back there. So this is much more handy. Uh, your basic smoke alarm and over here which I believe I have turned off is actually this is actually a motion light so when you come in the door I believe it turns on there it goes it turned on because I moved away from it um, and it'll eventually turn off if there's no motion to it so that's kinda handy when you come in the door you don't have to reach for a switch and your common everyday fire extinguisher and your common everyday fire exit now I have never been able to figure out why you put a fire exit on this side when you have a door on this side that's only four more feet away from you but it is what it is another place to have a TV plugged in up here and a backer board right there to mount a TV pedestal we probably will not use that um, when I'm done watching TV I'm done uh, the lights are on in here switched in in the bathroom here uh, there are no curtains if you notice because they it has blackout shades that are uh, soft retract it has the same shades on every window the same type of shades on every window um, I don't know what else I could tell you here uh, I think it's a 15,000 BTU air conditioner Um, oh, I couldn't figure out what the noise was back here, but I think the fan is on down there because the solar panel, well, because it's plugged in number one, and I have a high draw on it because I put this oil-filled heater in here, and I have it turned up on high just to take the chill off and Robin's gonna come in here and do a little work later and then later on I put that timer on there and I have it come on in the evening and then I have it go off in the morning just so I don't have to winterize besides that it's all sealed anyway um, it would have to get extremely cold uh, in this trailer to freeze anything but um, just to be safe I'll put that in here and we'll probably take that with us when we leave on our first trip over to Bisbee uh, because it may get chilly and if it gets chilly it's nice to leave that on on low at night and have the furnace not come on quite so often but anyway uh, that's basically the tour I, I don't know what else I could show you but here I am standing all the way back at the, at the uh, oven and you can see that even though it's only 28 feet it's 
it's a nice open plan you know if I stand over here by the door and kind of pan across it's just a nice open plan with a lot of room and a lot of space and a lot of storage I mean they they literally used every ounce of um, area in here that they could make into storage or use for something into something so um, we're gonna enjoy it I hope and uh, um, it really wasn't too bad to buy it it was the last 1920 I mean uh, 2022 they had uh, and it was in Willis Texas at um, Holiday World RV and we had the Holiday World here ship it up here and we bought it from the guys here for us simply because that way you can get it serviced where you bought it easy um, that's about it gang uh, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Everything on a trailer is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to bother showing you all the underside. But it has a sealed underside. All the tanks are up inside the frame. And it, there, it, there is, um, uh, they're encapsulated in there. Under There's a cover underneath the bottom of the trailer all the way down. Uh, and that area is heated by a pipe that comes directly out of the furnace down here and goes right into the floor. So if you have heat on in here, um, it heats those tanks, and those tanks are insulated under there, in, up inside the frame. Uh, only the pipes that drain them come out to the outside. And where the, where the um, valves are, there's a pull handle there, and um, uh, there is one separate one for the gray water back here, and there's a separate one for the black water and gray water out of that sink up there. Because here in New Mexico, we can run gray water out on the ground, which means that I can put a hose on that and on the gray water side, and I can run that to a tree well or something and water a tree or a bush or something wherever we're staying. Um, so it's that's kind of handy. So I think I'll just stop it for here. This is just a short video to, to uh, show you why all that stuff was in the train room and uh, let you know that this is what we're doing or what we have done. And uh, by the way, it, it, it wasn't overly expensive for us because we had the other trailer. So we sold that trailer right away and we were able to apply that money to this so it didn't eat into our budget very badly at all. So that being it, I guess that's it for now, gang. Um, we'll talk to you later. Okay, everybody. I, I told you this might not be too exciting to the train guys, and you may or may not like this video or whatever, but um, it, it's just a video to tell you guys uh, what's been eating up some time and, and uh, what we've been doing. We looked at this trailer, by the way, last July, but we decided not to do anything until after the first of the year. So, um, here we are. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as usual, thanks for watching.